Hello all, I'm Sites, and I'm with you today with the second devlog about my multiplayer FPS game. It hasn't been too long since the last devlog, but I believe I made enough changes for a new devlog video. Thanks for sticking around, your support means a lot to me. Anyways, without taking too much of your time, I'll start talking about the new features I added. Let's begin. As I mentioned in the first devlog, I'll be working on gunplay later, so for now I am working on other gameplay mechanics like improvement the movement and working on level design. The game doesn't look or feel original at the moment, so I'll be working on some improvements about that. In this episode, I'll make everything ready for basic gameplay before I add guns. Once I feel like the game is in a playable state, I'll post a download link over at my Discord server, and the link to that is in the description. So at first, I saw the bug with the slope movement, where moving down slopes would cause a bouncy motion, which is now fixed. I also tweaked the values to change the jump height and the gravity, as the older values made the game kinda unrealistic, and it wasn't fun either. After dealing with these improvements, I worked on the level design, given that the old map was all white dev materials and just two rooms. To make the game more visibly enjoyable and still stick to the white box style level design, I changed the materials of some objects from the white dev material to dev materials with other colors. This provides a visual depth to the level and enables players to find enemies more easily. I also added another room, connected that room to another with a little tunnel and also removed the transparent red cross barriers on the second room. Speaking of enemies, I want a solution to show the nicknames of other clients to the player. That's why I decided to implement a name tag feature similar to the one in Minecraft, so the nickname of players will be displayed with a text over the player's head. Now, implementing this on a UI basis is easy, but getting the desired nickname of every player and then setting these nicknames as text over the heads of the respective players was going to need some coding to work. But how did I manage to do this? Well, let me explain in three steps. First of all, we're gonna need to get the player's choice of nickname before they join the server. And we're going to save it to a script, which is a component called player info in my game. Then we're going to store and sync the nicknames by asking the server to do so. And every instance of a player will have its own nickname synced through every player's game. We're going to do this with a server request using a void with the command attribute, which is an attribute provided by mirror the multiplayer service that I am using and that I have talked about on the first step block. Finally, we'll simply run a few lines of code to tell every client to take the nickname values from each player's player info script and display it above them. Et voila! Now every connected player has their nickname displayed. The next thing I could do with these nicknames is a scoreboard which ranks the players, a system present in a lot of modern multiplayer FPS games but I'll be thinking about that in the future. With all that out of the way, I need to set up something for the player to write down their nickname. Now there are a few ways to approach this, but my solution is to add this as an option with a menu to connect to hosted games and also host on your own. This is not the final menu, but it works for now and I can certainly say it looks way better than Mirror's standard UI. Thanks to this nickname syncing process, I learned how to sync variables on the server, which will help me with setting up player health once I add combat to the game. But to make syncing easier, setting up server-side authentication will most likely be necessary. Also, you can now join players on your local area network. All you have to do is to host the game on one device, and then enter the local IP of the host device and click join. Please make sure that it's your local IP address and not your public address. And also please note that this will currently only work with devices on the same network, and that's what a local area network is. But port forwarding or using some applications that connect local area networks can make these connections possible, but this is not something I have tested yet. So that's all for this devlog. I believe I made a fair share of progress, and with all this done I might start working on gunplay on the next episode, and potentially release a build in the next 1-2 to two devlogs on my Discord server. Thank you all for watching and for your support, and please like this video and subscribe as well. It would also mean a lot if you join my discord server to check out updates 
to download upcoming content or just to chat. And also give my h.io page a look. The links for those will be in the description. Again, thank you for watching and see you later.